Hi and welcome to this quick video where we'll show you our new product which is a MicroPixel Edge for the BBC Microbit. Now as you can see it's got 10 NeoPixels as they're known which are WS2812B LEDs and they're fully addressable RGB LEDs and it's these plus some capacitors on the PCB along with an edge connector and then what you can do is take your Microbit and it just plugs in and then you've got 10 LEDs available to the edge of your micro bit. Now this PCB, it can go either way around and it'll still work, so as you can see that's upside down. And if I switch it on, you can see the LEDs are on, so it's doing a nice rainbow effect just now. Now, I've got the micro bit installed in one of our bat bit cases, which is a, an acrylic case, which has also got a PCB with a switch and a battery holder for two AAA batteries just to give it power so I don't have cables trailing. Now, this bit of code was written using the PXT environment and it's basically what, four blocks of code um, which took me less than a minute to put together and when you first start it up you've got a rainbow effect. Now it looks like it's shimmering but it isn't, it's just the, the refresh rate of the camera. And if I press the A button you can see the LEDs go white. Press the B button and make them go red and both together it goes back to rainbow effect. So that's giving you a nice example of a simple bit of code to get working with the MicroPixel Edge. Now I'll show you some screenshots here on how to put that code together and how quick it really is. So first up you need to go to microbit.org and then click on the Let's Code button and this will take you to the splash screen which lets you select which environment you want to program in. Now if you click on Let's Code under the PXT, that will open up the PXT environment, which you can see here. Now you'll notice on the left hand side there isn't any, any blocks that say NeoPixel, which is the library that this uses. So first of all, you have to press the Add Package button, highlighted here. And then this dialog box will open up, and then select NeoPixel, and then OK. And you can see there on the left, you've now got the, the NeoPixel library there. And in fact, this has got all the code that, that you require to, to get it started. So initially, you can see on startup, it will show a rainbow over 10 pixels. And then if you press button A, it will go to white. If you press button B, it will change to red. And if you press A and B together, it will go back to rainbow. Now if you click on the JavaScript code at the top, it will convert your blocks into actual text JavaScript so you can have a little look at it there and that's that. Nice and simple. Thanks very much. Bye.